Hello and welcome, I'm Gorgin and today I'm going to talk about Digital Signature. In this video, I'm going to use Digital Signature in Node.js. Before I get started, I mentioned that this video is continuing of previous video, we are already behind Digital Signature. So if you didn't watch that video yet, I highly recommend watch that before continue watching this video. Okay, let's start. In this video, I use Express, that is a minimalist framework for Node.js, to sign some data and verify that. So let's create a empty Express project. npx express generator. Because I don't want to add any graphical user interface, I prefer not to install any template engine. So I add flag no view here. Okay. NPM install. First, we need to generate key pair. There are many third-party module available to do this for us, but I prefer to use first-party module that is in core of Node.js. Let's import crypto module crypto and add an API router get um, generate key pair and add request and response define variable key pair equal crypto that generate key pair here are two methods that can generate key pair for us first one generate key pair asynchronously and second generate key pair synchronously for us i choose generate key pair sync the first parameter is type of key that can be RSA, DSA, EC, DH, etc. To check out which types you can use here, you can check out Node.js official documentation. The second parameter is option, that is an object. Modulus. Len modulus length is key size in bits. In this case, is RSA key size in bits. Also, add some information about um, public key and private key encoding by adding property public key encoding that contains type and format format dre and do same for private key let's copy this and paste it here private key change type to pkcs8 again to see which other option you can choose for type and format um, you can refer to not just official documentation but um, 
in OGS official documentation, it's recommended to use SPKI type for public key and PKCS8 for private key. Let's see what we have in key pair. So let's return it to client side, send key pair. Start the server, npm starts. Express runs on port 3000 by default, so API address would be like this local host 3000 slash generate key pair. Here is the result. Public key contains a type and the data. And also private key, same as public key. So we now know our key pair contains a public key property and a private key property. So let's extract them. Instead of using this variable, let's use this public key and private key. You can also use something like this key pair dot public key key pair dot public key but I prefer to choose this syntax because it's shorter and more readable and public key and private key we expect the same result let's check it once more again Yes, same result. Okay, to make public key and private key more readable and easier to send our network, I prefer to convert them to base64 format to string base64. And do this for private key, private key dot. Okay. As we can see, they are more readable and more understandable and easier to send over network and much more pressier. The next step is using private key to sign data. So let's add an API to do this for us. Router.post sign request and response. We expect client to send us two parameters, a private key and data. So let's get data from request body and do same for and do same for private key private key equal that body that's private key because we convert private key to base64 here we need to convert it back to understandable format before we use it in sign method of crypto. So let's do this. Crypto dot create private key accepts 
objects and buffer from private key and um, encoding that is base64 it creates a buffer from base64 string and also type that should be same as here private key encoding type and also format so let's copy and paste them here if you are using mac you can reformat your code by pressing option shift and f so let's create signature using private key const sign equal crypto dot create sign algorithm sha256 sign.update with data and sign that's int signature is sign that sign accepts private key so I missed to declare a variable to get the result here I prefer to use this private key because we don't need a string type of private key anymore so let's use private key equal and private key again to make signature more understandable and easier to read i prefer to convert it to base 64 but it's optional send the response to client signature that is object oops okay let's check everything api address should be something like this local host 3000 slash sign and you paste it here change method to post and choose body tab row json i need to copy private key from here private key copy create empty object and paste private key here and also data because he expected in server side and add a string for example some data and send a signature is created for us let's make a small change to send both signature and data in response data and signature restart server once more again next step is verifying data and signature by using sender's public key let's add in another api to do this for us router.post slash verify request and response we expect client to send us three parameter data public key and signature let's data public key and signature equal rec that buddy this is equivalent to something like this but it's shorter and I prefer use this syntax 
again because we converse public key to base 64 encoding type we need to convert it back to understandable version for crypto module public key equal crypto dot create public key same as what we do in converse private key accept object key is buffer from public key and base 64 and also type and format I copy and paste it here so we have public key understandable and let's use it in verify signature const verify equal crypto dot create excuse me create verify again SHA-256 verify.updates with data and verify that and let's result equal verify dot verify public key buffer from signature base 64 and done this piece of code is because we converted signature to base 64 encoding if you didn't convert it in previous section you can just pass signature as second parameter let's send result to client does that send verify result let's restart server again the api address should be something like this local host 3000 verify create new tab and paste it here change method to post choose body tab row and select json create empty object and pass parameter you can copy them from here data and signature and also need to pass public key from here i can i can copy from here and paste it here okay let's see the result is verified if we change data for example add something like this and send request once more again verify returns false to us or if we change signature we get false also but true data and true signature and also true public key sends true for us hope you enjoy and thank you for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel and also put the comments below see you soon